Natatayo ng mag-aral Sa mas walang maiiwan At sayang mag-aral tayo ng mas tuto Upang di kayo masenso Maging matyaga, maging matalino Hindi na mataral na tayo Hello mga batang manduno! Sa oras na ito, nais ko munang magpasalamat sa lahat ng mga nanonood at nananatiling nakatutok sa ating Project Store sa YouTube at Facebook page. Muli, maaari po kayong mag-like, subscribe, comment, at share upang mahikayat ang mas marami pang mga viewers at patuloy na matuto sa ating mga aralin. Huling nagbabalik ang Project Store. Ngayon naman po ay ating pag-aaralan ang aralin sa Mathematics Grade 4. Ang inyong magiging guro ay nagtapos ang Bachelor of Secondary Education and Major in Mathematics sa Rizal Technological University. At siya ay mayroong 21 na units sa Master's Degree sa Greenville College. Siya ay bihasang guro na isa sa mga units ng JMMS, ang Grip sa Foundation of Philippines, na rito si Kinang Annabelle R. E. Good day, Grade 4 Learners! I am Teacher Bell. Today is a brand new day to learn another mathematics concept. This video lesson is created to help you in your learning journey as you solve routine and non-routine problems in real-life situations involving perimeter of squares and rectangles, triangles, parallelograms, and trapezoids. To begin with, may I remind you to have your notebook and ball pen. Welcome to Mathematics for Quarter 3 Week 8. Let's have a quick review. Directions. Find the perimeter of the following figures. Very good! That is 48 meters. Yes, that's correct. That is 21 centimeters. Exactly, 50 meters. You're right, that is 36 centimeters. Very good, that is 20 meters. Good job, kids! Today, we are going to learn on how to solve routine and non-routine problems in real-life situations involving perimeter of squares and rectangles, triangles, parallelograms, and trapezoids. That means, at the end of this lesson, you are expected to solve routine and non-routine problems in real-life situations involving perimeter of squares and rectangles, triangles, parallelograms, and trapezoids. Are you ready, kids? This time, let us read and analyze this problem number one. One side of a square table measures 70 centimeter. Find its perimeter. This problem is an example of routine problem. Because it is a type of problem which requires an immediate solution. But how are you going to solve this problem? Yes, very good. We are going to use the four-step plan in solving the word problem. First, you need to understand the problem. Typically, it answered the questions, 
What is ask? That's right. The problem is asking the perimeter of the table. What are the given facts? Exactly. The given facts is 70 cm for the length of the side. After understanding the problem, the next step is to plan. To plan the problem, let's illustrate the problem by drawing it. Since the given table is square, so we are going to use the formula in finding the perimeter of a square. Now, what operation to be used? Very good! We are going to use the addition or multiplication. What is the number sentence? Yes, that's correct. Using the formula, P is equal to S plus S plus S plus S and by substituting the given measure of the sides of a square, we have 70 plus 70 plus 70 plus 70 or by multiplying 4 by S, we have P is equal to 4 times 70. Now, we are going to proceed in the third step is to solve. By adding 70 plus 70 plus 70, that is equal to 280. Or by multiplying 4 by 70, that is equal to 280. Now, how will you going to know if your answer is correct? Yes, you're right. Using the fourth step, the check and look back. The question being asked is the perimeter of a table. Therefore, the perimeter of the table is 280 centimeters. Is that clear to everyone? Now, let's try another example. Read and analyze the problem number 2. Light posts are placed around the square park. There are three light posts along each side of the park. If the distance between the light post is 30 meters, what is the distance around the park? This problem is an example of non-routine problem because this type of problem requires analysis. To solve this word problem, you need to Step 1. Understand the problem. What is asked? Very good! The problem is asking the distance around the park. What are the given facts? Yes, you're correct. The given facts are 3 light posts and 30 meters for the distance between the light posts. Step 2. Plan what to do. By drawing it, the park is a square with three light posts in each side and the distance between the light posts is 30 meters. Since we are going to find the perimeter of this figure, we can easily know what operation to be used. Excellent! That is addition or multiplication. What is the number sentence? Very good! By adding the distance between the light posts, that is 30 plus 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 30, or by multiplying 30 by 8. Now, let's proceed to the third step to solve. 30 plus 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 30 that is equal to 240 or by multiplying 30 by 8 that is equal to 240 the fourth step is check and look back the problem is asking the distance around the park therefore the answer is 240 meters now Let's practice. Read and analyze the problem. 
Find the perimeter of a rectangular glass table. Step 1. Understand the problem. What is asked? That's right. The problem is asking the perimeter of a rectangular table. What are the given facts? Excellent! The given facts are 5 meters for the length of rectangular table and 3 meters for the width of rectangular table. Step 2. Plan what to do. What operation to be used? Correct! The addition and multiplication. What is the number sentence? Very good! Since the table is rectangular in shape, we are going to use the formula in finding the perimeter of the rectangle. That is, P is equal to 2 times length plus 2 times width. By substituting the given data for the length and width, we have 2 times 5 plus 2 times 3. Step 3. Solve. First, multiply 2 times 5, that is equal to 10, plus 2 times 3 is equal to 6. Then, 10 plus 6 is equal to 16. Step 4. Check and look back. The problem is asking the perimeter of a rectangular table. So, the answer is 16 meters. Now, let's proceed to another example. Read and analyze the problem. Jennifer's flower garden has a length of 25 meters and a width of 8 meters. Find the perimeter. Step 1. Understand the problem. What is asked? That's right. The perimeter of Jennifer's flower garden. What are the given facts? Very good. The given facts are 25 meters for length and 8 meters for the width. Step 2. Plan what to do. By drawing it, we can see that the shape of Jennifer's garden is rectangle. Now, we can easily identify what operation are we going to use. You're yeah, right. The addition and multiplication. What is the number sentence? Very good. Using the formula for the perimeter of rectangle, P is equal to 2 times length plus 2 times width and by substituting the given measure of length and width, we have 2 times 25 plus 2 times 8. Step 3. Solve. 2 times 25 is equal to 50 plus 2 times 8 is equal to 16. Then, 50 plus 16 is equal to 66. Step 4. Check and look back. The problem is asking the perimeter of Jennifer's flower garden. Therefore, the answer is 66 meter. Is that clear, kids? Now, let us have another word problem. Let's read together. Julia walked a distance of 255 meters. If she walked around an equilateral triangular garden five times, what is the length of one side of the garden? For step one, understand the problem. Let's identify what is asked. That's right. The problem is asking for the length of one side of an equilateral triangular garden. What are the given facts? Very good. The given facts are 255 meters for distance Julia walked. And 5 times Julia walked around the garden. For step 2, let's plan what to do. Since equilateral triangle has three equal sides, we are going to use the 
formula in finding the perimeter of an equilateral triangle that is P is equal to 3 times sight. And since Julia walked 5 times around the park, so we need to multiply 3s by 5. Now, what operation to be used? Great, the multiplication and division. What is the number sentence? That is 255 is equal to 5 times 3s. For step 3, solve. First, multiply 5 and 3s. So that is equal to 15s. Then, divide both sides by 15. 15s divided by 15 is equal to s. Then, 255 divided by 15 is equal to 17. For step 4, check and look back. Therefore, the length of one side of an equilateral triangular garden is 17 meters. You did great, kids! Let's proceed to your activity. Get your notebook and Baldwin kids. Directions Solve the following problem by following the correct steps. Now, here are the answer for your activity. Number 1, 60 centimeters. Number 2, 160 centimeters. Number 3, 92 meters. I guess all of you got it perfect. Good job, Batang Mandunong! Again, kids. How do we solve word problems involving perimeter of closed plane figure? Yes, very good! To solve the word problems, we follow the four-step plan in solving word problems. Step 1. Understand the problem. Step 2. Plan what to do. Step 3. Solve. Step 4. Check and look back. And then... Apply the formula to find the perimeter of a particular closed figure. Now kids, why is perimeter important in our daily life? Yes, uh, that's right. If you want to provide a fencing around the entire field, you need its perimeter. Another kids, you're great. If you are planning to put a Christmas light around the house, you need its perimeter. Another one? Excellent! If you want to walk around the park and you want to know how far you are going to walk, you need the perimeter. Great job, kids! That's all for today, Batang Mandunang. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something today. Again, I am Teacher Bell saying matsayang mag-aral at matsayang matuto. Good day everyone!